Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Industry Manager Future Technologies. That's right. I I can never get the name of the game quite spot on, but it seems that that it seems that I've got it right for once. All right. Um. Anyway, things are going pretty darn good. We're making a little bit of money, which is kind of nice. Our company value is, you know, it's something. You know, it's there. Um. But it's really just about scaling up our current products, or our current good stuff. What is this? This is production line costs. This is for the software factory, I think. That's fine. Um, it's currently just about making sure that we can sell more stuff, because we're not really... We're not really making that much money. Like, we are making money, but it's not exactly money at a super, super, super fast pace. And in addition to that, there's the loan which is coming off the top of this, which is... 200,000? Sure, I'll pay for that, and I'm presuming that that's gonna make me pay less, right? 107.29. What are the cost? 142. Okay, 142 and 107. Let's see it. What? Let's see what it actually improves. Okay, so it reduces it by a tiny, tiny little bit. All right, so I guess that's totally gonna pay itself back uh, over the course of the game. Uh, we don't need video games for here. It's, to it's totally going to pay itself back. It means we should be making a little bit more money. But it's not exactly going to... It's not exactly going to be super, super, super useful. Um, holy shit, this sector is now worth 8 million. Like, they don't change value, do they? Like, it surely must just be in... In relation to, to my personal wealth, right? Like, to the personal company value. Hmm... I think we need to just buy a sector. Like, I actually do. And it's very, very difficult. The bank still can't give out loans. That's very, very annoying. Um, we can't take out any loans. So if we want to do this, we are going to have to sell shares in our company. And that's kind of annoying, actually, because our share value is somewhat worthless at the moment. Um... Yeah, our share value is, is almost half of what our competitors are. Yeah, I think we just got to do it. All right, I'm going to do it. It's annoying. We're going to sell off 30% of all of our shares. Urgh, that's very, very, very annoying that we had to do that. But alas, it's time to buy some more land. Oh. Oh. The Morris Industry Bank interest rates have risen due to various bad business choices the bank has made in recent months. Using internet interest rates to cover its losses is leaving many clients upset since they are literally paying for the bank's mistakes. CEO Charles Morris has stated this was absolutely necessary. Experts advising cases as small loans as possible or avoid loans together. Uh, the drop in loans will mean slower growth in the market for the coming months. Hold in this situation. Okay, it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck. Alright, well that's annoying. Um, it's fine though. It's fine. It's fine. We've got our, uh, ourselves a brand new sector, and we can actually start sticking some stuff in it if we have enough money to actually build any stuff in here. Uh, for example, the software company, we're going to have to very, very carefully spend our money and make sure that we don't fuck anything up. There we go. Let's do that. And something else that I probably should be doing, right, is I should be trying to sell off the extra resources that I've got. The imbe I've got 14,000 embedded systems. 14,000 embedded systems. That seems a little bit ridiculous. We are 100% meeting the demand. We're mostly meeting the demand for embedded systems. Wait, so if we're meeting... We're not meeting it in... Where are we not meeting it? Is it Oakville that we're not meeting it in? Angels, we're not meeting it in. Plainbridge, we are meeting it in. So, Angels and Oakville, why are we not meeting... Which one's... Which one's... Oakville? Which one's Plainbridge? I have no fucking idea. Oh! Your company is nearing bankruptcy. Thank you for reminding me. Have, has this game crashed again? Oh, thank God it hasn't. Um... Yeah, so... I still don't know which city this is actually in, but hey-ho. Like... There's 14,000 units stored. Why are we not selling these things? What's the issue here? 
Like, if we've got 14,000, I'm just going to stop manufacturing these things altogether, right? Like, there just seems to be no reason to do this. Yeah, I'm just going to completely get rid of this line and instead start producing video games pretty much pretty much full time. Honestly, no, there's there's no reason to to do this at all. We could make antivirus. That's something that, that we really could do. Um, also, media development. Literally zero idea what this does. Let's do some media development, whatever the hell that is. Sure. Let's make as many media developments as we can. Great. Let's do it. You've been upgraded for production or whatever. And you should already... Wow, holy shit. Why are we making so many fucking embedded systems? Like, we've got... We've got shit tons of embedded systems. Like, we don't need any more. Please, God, no more embedded systems. Alright, quality up at 20. Alright, so we need to add media development and antivirus to the list of things. We're also going to start producing whatever products we need over there. So, let's start up production and whatever it is. Media. What was it? Oh, they will be available soon. Uh, fuck. Shit. We actually need to make sure that the warehouses work properly. Okay. Uh, is this the one that media development's made in? Yeah, it is. And then we just make games full-time at this one, don't we? Yeah, we do. Already at the max. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Uh, now we should be able to set things in the shop. There we go. Media. I don't know why I need to do this manually, but apparently I do. Wow, holy shit, our profit has actually not increased dramatically, but by 10,000 per day, that's it's not half bad, if you ask me. And as soon as we start selling it in all of the cities, the towns, the places, wherever, whatever you want to call them, I don't really know what they are. I mean, it's Oakville, I guess this is. Ah, so that's Angels, that's Plainsville, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, cool, cool. I get it now. If you hover over the city... It'll tell you the city name. It's pretty simple, Potato. You just need to get your head around that concept. All right. This is Oakville. If we head over here. It's Plain Bridge. And then the one at the bottom is Angels. All right. So we're actually making 50,000 per day, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I think, you know, things are kind of a little bit dicey right now. I'll be honest. Things are a little bit dicey. However, our company value has never been higher. Also, who owns our stock? Who owns our stock right now? 16.5%. I did not sign up to that. Who owns our stock? Your share, number of shares, uh, company ownership. You own 98% of you. Nobody owns the rest of mine. Okay, so I can actually buy mine back if I wanted to. I could buy my own shares back. I mean, we're not really in a position to do that quite yet, but perhaps soon. That would be rather nice. Um, okay, let's start producing something. Uh, I'm gonna say, I mean, are we meeting the demand for media developments or whatever the fuck they're called? I don't, I don't really know what they're called. Antivirus applications. Let's go to all. There's a lot more antivirus to be had out there, so we'll probably do that, I guess. Uh, media development. There's also a lot of media development to be had. Hmm. I guess we'll do media development here. Why not? Why not, eh? The absolute maximum. Okay. Hire pretty much everybody. Uh, upgrade the workforce. We are kind of treading a very thin line right now. Yeek. Yeek. We're very, very close to going bankrupt, but it's okay. The media development kit is gonna is gonna save our bacon. Um, bank loan count apparently is something that we can totally research. And why the hell are we not researching this? Production line costs are just gonna continue to fall, which is really really nice. You know, we're gonna become much more uh, efficient as we as we go on, which is really really good. I, I like that. I like that indeed. Production quality. I don't really give a shit about production quality to be honest. Increases software quality. I'm gonna DQ all this nonsense. I don't really care. Uh, advanced research. Mm, maybe 
company research would be kind of cool. Like transport costs. I guess we'll do that. I mean, we've got a powerhouse of research here. Like we, we really can do very, very well. Sector costs, for example, we really should have researched. Bank loan count should really be... Maybe not completely researched out, but... Yeah. Still something good to have, I guess. Transport costs can be lowered. Research duration has already been done. Advertising, sure, we'll queue that up. Statistics, report costs. I haven't found the statistics reports all that enlightening, but... Alas. Did I set up a fucking route. I did not. That's a problem. Ah, well. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. That should increase our money by a lot. There we go. Pretty much doubled. Holy cow. Media systems. Holy shit. Media systems are the way forward. Okay, we're actually gonna stop making whatever the fuck we're making over here. Uh, yep, we're already making media systems here. Perfect. Computer games. Computer games are a thing of the past as far as I'm concerned. Fuck computer games. Computer games suck ass. We don't need computer games. We need media development. And that, folks, is how you go from zero to hero overnight. That's right. You stop making video games, and instead you start making media development. Whatever the fuck that even means. Like, I, I, I have not got the foggiest what that even means. Um, we've got a butt ton of aluminium, which we probably should be trying to sell off, considering... We're using it. Uh, why are we not selling off more media development? There's a lot of demand for it. I think there's a heck of a lot of demand for it. And we're not filling it anywhere, so... I mean, 52 grand is, you know, that's a lot of money, but... I want more media development. Oh, it's because we had, like, an influx. You remember we had, like, one day where we had, like, shit tons? I mean, I still think media development's a good thing to go for. Like, it's a good, um... It's a good target. But... That explains why there was a big rush on one day. Is because we just had shit tons of stuff backlogged. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's have a look at the global market. Let's aluminium. Let's sell off aluminium. Let's do a repeat value... Quantity, choose warehouse. Yep, quantity. Let's try and sell off 3,000 per day, give or take. Repeat order on that. I mean, we get loads of aluminium per day anyway, so... Yeah, we get 1,300 per day. Only sold 185 aluminium. Honestly, getting rid of aluminium right now is, is fine with me. That's really, really good if we can do that. I mean, can we process it into anything? Like, is there anything that we can do that's just like a simple process? I mean, since we're not we're not actually using plastics anymore, are we? I don't think we are. So we should have like loads of plastics here. Yeah, we got shit tons of plastics. Let's sell off plastics as well. There seems to be no reason. I can never fucking remember which one it is. Let's sell off um let's sell off plastics. Uh here it is. Yeah, plastic. Let's sell this off. Repeat order. Um try and get like three thousand away per day as well. Yeah, like, that seems absolutely great. So, I don't understand, like, the quality difference. I mean, we should be making money from that, right? Like, that shouldn't be something that we're losing money from. That should absolutely be something that we're making money on. And also polymers. Like, we should definitely be making polymers. Uh, or should definitely be selling polymers, should I say. Okay, polymers. Sell polymers. Repeat. Quantity. Uh, yeah, let's go for 3,000 again. See if we can try and aim for that mystical 3,000 goal. I mean, we sell very, very little of it. But at the end of the day, as long as it's something, then, you know, that's that's fine, quite frankly. That's absolutely fine. Uh, you're already upgraded to the max. You've got the workforce upgrade. That's that's perfect. Uh, what just completed? Did something just complete? Uh, finish researching something or other. 
bank loan count is actually done. So we should be able to take out another bank loan right now, right? If we wanted to. We actually could take out another bank loan. I don't know if I want to. I do not know if I want to. But at the same time, I really want to scale up my media uh, production. My media development production. So much potential here. There really is. There's so, 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 so much potential. And I just want to... I just want to gobble up all of that potential. I think we're going to, you know? I th I'd rather take out a loan than I would anything else. <sighs> Fuck. 21% loan. Jesus Christ. All right. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to... What? What? Why didn't you give me 3 million? Oh, no, I need to click the get loan button. I mean, that's good. I mean, our company value is rising. Yes, I want to take out the loan. I want to take out the loan. I know that's a big commitment, but it allows us to get uh, another building, which is going to be very, very important indeed. Another software company to do all of the good stuff, all of the building, all of the building of our very, very, very high quality media kit. There we go. Good stuff there. Good stuff right there. That is indeed great news. Uh, yep, you're making as much as you possibly can. It seems like a complete waste to have so many stinking buildings just like sitting around here, but I guess, like, fine. That's, uh, that's okay. Bank interest rate? Yes, I would love to get uh, to get that advertised yes please and sector costs not so much don't really care about sector costs but I would love another I would love maybe I maybe I'm gonna sell off like 10% of my shares maybe maybe another hundred shares I mean that would net a cool two point something million I'm gonna do that actually like that's that might seem like a, a, a pretty flippant thing to do and bear in mind we only have access to 60% of our shares right now and that's not very much that's not very much money and um, if there is time of uh, economic hardships then we could be in trouble but at the same time we've identified a hole in the market and that is of course as you know the good old media kit and the media kit it's being distributed to all of the stores and we can absolutely take advantage of the fact that the media kit is is selling so damned well yeah we really can Oh, advertising. Holy cow. Um, advertising. Fuck. Media kit. Can I put the media kit up for sale? Level 1 advertising. Market it to everywhere. This is 60,000 bucks per day. I mean, sure. We really should be, you know, making a whole bunch of, whole bunch of advertising monies from, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it means though. I do not know what it means. It doesn't really matter though. All right, let's just get production sorted because production, let's be frank, is the most important thing. No workers assigned. And uh, what? Should be workers. To the warehouse. There we go. Great job. Okay, now we're making a lot less money. And in all honesty, bank research interest rate is now complete. Interest rate is at 14%. So it looks like it's still the same interest rate on this loan. can take out another 23,000 if we wanted to. That's not great. Yeah, the advertising campaign that we're currently running, it, it doesn't really seem to be having the desired effect. Yeah. I want to get rid of this. Yeah, look, I don't think we need an advertising campaign because if we have a look at the demand, right? Fuck. Always click the wrong button. If we have a look at the demand, we're nowhere near filling the demand. Like, Advertising surely is only something that you do when you have 
you know, so much competition in the market that, you know, you need to try and differentiate your product from another product. And at the moment, we have no need to do that since we are the only people that supply media products, media development products, or whatever the fuck they're called. But either way, I'm not going to say our income's going to triple, but it's going to do it's going to do damned well for itself, I think. Um, now, basing our entire company off one stinking product is is it's pretty stupid, actually. You know, in 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 all things considered, but it's kind of okay. Like I'm kind of okay with it. Kind of okay with it. Uh, I wish there was a way to just, like, say, hey, all of my products. All of my products. Is there any way that I can just change your value all at the same time rather than going into the shop and doing it manually? Um, there's no... There's nothing being sold here. Why are they not being sold? Where are all my media kits being sold? Three sold here, but only 300 demanded. I guess this is like a really techy city up here. 103 sold. All right, I'm gonna try putting the price up to 500 bucks. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try putting the the cost up to 500 bucks. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 103 sold today. Uh, we'll wait a day, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, that's not so bad, actually. That looks mostly fine. 92 sold. 96 sold. That's pretty good. I, I think that we can probably comfortably up the price to 500. And still be okay with everything. And also, it seems that this city over here, like, whatever it is, Oak Bridge or whatever, is, is much more tech-oriented. But I don't understand what the issue is over here. Like, if we reduce the price by, like, 100, will that make a difference? There's 1,000 demanded over here. And I, I still don't understand why there's no... There's nothing, there's nothing happening. Nothing happening at all over here. Literally nothing. The refinery does not have enough thingies to produce products. Honestly, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. I mean, what does the refinery even need? Fuck me, we've got so much aluminium. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of aluminium. Are we out of embedded systems at long last as well? No, we're still working through our massive backlog of embedded systems. That's something else to bear in mind, that when we eventually have the inevitable... The inevitable demise of the, uh, of the embedded system, like whenever that runs out of embedded system, whenever we run out of embedded systems, we're going to start making less money, which is a little bit problematic, but uh, it's not a big deal. But either way, um, adjusting those media sets to 500, I think has had a, a pretty darn good effect. Like, it seems to be... It seems to be absolutely working. Like, we're up to 70,000 bucks here, so... You know, clearly something is working, right? Why are the production costs different? That is a little bit strange. Workforce over here is... Uh, it's mediocre, but it shouldn't need to be that big. Yeah, we're selling off a lot of plastics, a lot of polymers, a little bit of aluminium here and there. Yep, only sold 123 out of 3,000 polymer. That's not a problem, to be honest. Like, we're making 60,000 bucks. Like, it's slow progress, that's for sure. But, um, but it's good, honest, hard work, right? Like, that's, that's the way that you gotta look at it. And we're gonna be able to get ourselves a, a, a new building very, very soon indeed. Uh, the problem is going to be is that we're going to go from making 68,000 bucks a day right now to, I don't know, much less, right? As soon as the embedded systems run out. 69,000 to... To what? 69,000 to 15,000. What? Because of our lack of production of embedded systems. 
Really? Really? All right, um, let's let's scrap that and then let's just make embedded systems again over here. Like it should already be set up for embedded systems. Yeah, so that should absolutely work. Uh, I'll look at that progress report in just a second. Just let me fix the embedded system situation. Okay, now the embedded system situation should now be rectified. Let's have a look at this product report. Um, our balance is good in comparison to Ophiladivia and uh, bad in comparison to Deluxe Corp. Um, company value has increased dramatically, which is very, very nice. Mostly in part to two loans and the fact that we sold off a bunch of our shares. So that rose our share price, which in turn raises the value of our company, if I'm not mistaken. Um, still a little ways to go behind Deluxe Corp, but that's fine. Our revenue was skyrocketing, though. Like, hugely, hugely, huge. Hugely, hugely, huge. That's in definitely what I intended to say. Um, so that's great. Uh, bigger than both of my competitors. Well, they're not really my competitors at all, actually. Uh, we spent more on buildings. We spent way more on research. Like, we've clearly got a second R&D building, whereas my opponents only have one right now. Um, advertising we spent money on for for literally six days like that was that was it we spent money on advertising for six days uh, we spent two million on workers fuck me uh, sector ownership we bought a sector and the global market I guess that only counts for for buying on the global market like it doesn't count for selling on the global market which we've definitely been doing um Trade centers, we've got three. Open shops, we've got five. Company ownership, we only own 60% of our company, which is rather annoying, actually. Media development kits, holy shit, we're selling tons. We're selling tons. Embedded systems, we've also said, uh, sold quite a few of. Still no crossover quite yet. Flexible OLED display, that seems very, very similar to stuff that I'm producing, but not, not quite there. But I imagine that there is going to be some competition in the very near future. Uh, and I welcome it. I welcome it. I'm going to get my advertising budget sorted by next time. And fingers crossed we'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with whoever decides to come into our uh, industry. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Industry Manager Future Technologies. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.